Hi, I'm Steve Jones from SQL Server Central, and I've got another SQL prompt tip for you, brought to you by Redgate Software. I'm sure many of you prompt users are familiar with select star from or SSF. If you're not, you should give it a try. Notice in this case, when I run this query, I get the chance to uh, pick a table, and then I get all the rows and columns back. Only 500 rows in this case, and not too many columns, but on very large tables, this can be problematic. So how do I fix that? When I install SQL prompt, what I like to do is come down to the snippet manager and go to the SSF fragment and, and edit it. Now in this case, there is an ST100, but I don't find that easy to type, so I like to edit this one. I'm gonna to use top 10, and I'm gonna format this a little bit better so that it's useful for me when I'm actually going ahead and, and running this snippet. So I do that, I'm gonna use the cursor token that puts my cursor at this spot. So now when I type SSF, I get my formatted code that looks very nice, and when I execute this, you'll see I only get 10 rows so that I can examine the table. Give this a try in SQL Prompt. Hopefully you'll find it as useful for you as it is for me. I'm Steve Jones for Redgate Software.